wasn't expecting to come into a church and see a bunch of skulls. I am excited about this. This is actually a Baron's Racer. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Rome certainly won our hearts over and I am so sad to say that it is time to leave. We are jumping on a bullet train and heading to Milan. At the train station and one of the stressful things about traveling, especially in foreign countries, is trying to figure out where the train is. So uh, we hope we can find it. And we found our train. And we made it to Milan. We made it to my friend Gabe's place who yeah. actually invited us. He is the one that's running the reptile show. We're gonna take a look at a few of his animals a little bit. But I know Lori's pretty excited because uh, they are about to serve us up a traditional kind of real Italian dinner. Uh, so are you excited, Lori? Heck yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. And with Brian and Lori gone, I get to work at the Reptarium this weekend. So that'll be pretty sweet. I can't wait for that. I'm just kinda out hanging out with Casper over here working hard you know I have so much stuff i forget we even have i gotta make sure that i know to tell these people what we got here the ones to pull out the ones to keep in that are a little aggressive but not casper casper's a big love lover boy here so i can't wait to see meet all the new uh people coming out to the reptarium the first time snake holders and getting to show off some of these beauties for those of you that want to know what real pasta looks like <laughs> this is a real italian pasta homemade oh pasta gosh, that looks amazing so Lori, that was uh, one amazing dinner. Actually, lunch. That was lunch. <laughs> that was lunch. Oh my gosh. And it was huge, but so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so full, but I didn't want to stop. Eating. I know. I don't want to go back home just just because of the food. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not cooking like that. <laughs> you gotta learn, Lori. You gotta learn how to cook like this. Yeah, please. that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> We're gonna take Gabe's mom home with us. <laughs> oh yeah. Can we take Gabe's mom home? Yes, that's perfect. what we need to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. So good. So good. We're heading downtown into Milano and going to Diomo. So this should be pretty interesting. Holy moly. Wow, huh? Yeah, that's amazing. Wow, I tell you what, man, this place is crazy. I did not expect this at all. Absolutely gorgeous. After leaving Rome, Milan is a very different city, but when you get down here, it's absolutely insane. <laughs> Again, guys, I realize this is an animal base. We are going to be looking at some animals in this vlog for sure, but look at the architecture. Take a look at this door. Oh my gosh. Tell it, I am blown away. I've seen pictures of Diomo, but I just didn't realize how absolutely massive and insane it is. So what I'm doing right now with Mary is something that my mom usually does, which is actually finding a specific snake, taking pictures of it, weighing it for the grams that it weighs, and then also jotting down any other information that the person requests. The snake that we're trying to find today is a Super Pastel Calico Ball Python female, MO2. I know where she is. See, this is why I use Mary, because she knows where everything is. Boom, perfect. Wow, she's gorgeous. Holy cow. All right, so right now I'm about to take her to the weight booth and take some pictures while I'm there. So it's at zero. You place her down. 109 grams. You jot that down for the person right here. And they also wanted additional pictures. Boom. Beautiful. There you go. And then they also wanted to know, is she eating frozen or live? That would be live. Live. So she's feeding live, so all I do is write down on the piece of paper, live food. And there we go. We got the snake and all the information we needed. Lining the walls. This is crazy. 
I mean, no disrespect for the people that were in there, but it's crazy. Gabe told us that there was a hospital that was here and that as people passed away, they would take their skull and yes. bones and they would put them in that church. I mean, that is, I just don't even understand like why they would do that. Like, what's the reasoning behind it? I don't know. It? I get there has to be a story. You, we're going to have, gonna to, have look to look it up. 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 If anyone knows any more about this, comment down below because that yeah. is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> First, what City Center Milan is known for is all the shops. I and mean, if you look, every fashion brand is definitely represented in this city. And you can see all these people are definitely shopping like crazy. Thankfully, me and Lori aren't here to shop. So we're just here to see some cool things. And then ultimately, tomorrow, the big reptile show, we are so excited. <laughs> So I guess for good luck, you have to come into this circle and put your heel of your shoe into the testicles of this bull and do a spin. So uh, we need to have good luck, right? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This castle here was actually owned by the Sportsa family, which actually originally owned almost all of the property in Milan. And this is actually their castle, which is pretty freaking epic. I wonder if Lori would let me build a place like this. Probably not. What? <laughs> I've actually seen the picture of this before. This was actually dedicated to Napoleon when he first visited Milan. I mean, that is just cool. Again, the thing I love about Italy and really all of Europe is just all the history that's behind things. You know, we don't see that in America. I mean, we only go back 200 plus years, you know. This stuff is all hundreds and sometimes even thousands of years old. It's just freaking awesome. But finally, after a day and a half or two days without snakes, I'm here with Gabe, the one that is putting on the reptile convention and your first snake, right? This is bull Python, my first snake. Oh my I gosh. have this uh, since uh, 15 years. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? I mean, how yeah, yeah, cool yeah. is that? And of course, Gabe actually puts on a very successful tattoo convention, and tomorrow is the first reptile convention that he's put on, and it looks like it's going to be absolutely crazy. As a matter of fact, later on today, we're going to go take a peek at it before it opens up tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other things. Take a look at this beauty right here. Of course, this is a Beautiful copper-headed short tail python. Oh my gosh, that thing is absolutely incredible. And you actually bred this one, right? Yes, and oh you have the, the son of this beautiful python. It's <laughs> so amazing. I mean, just look at that head and that kind of crazy pattern. That yeah. thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that thing's head is ridiculous, dude. And you said that this one was actually the baby of the other one, huh? Yes, this is the, the baby of the other one. That thing is so cool. So Gabe, what got you into reptiles? I mean, what was it? I mean, you said you were always into tattoos and reptiles. Yes, I love reptiles since I was young and uh, tomorrow will be the first edition of Milan Reptile Meeting and uh, for me, it's the, uh, the best moment of my life. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, yeah. I'm, well, I'm excited too. I'm excited yeah. too. Take a look at this cute little monkey right here. Of course, this is a killer blast. And you said that the mother was a spinner blast and the father was a super pastel, yeah. right? Wow, that thing is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, have you bred many snakes? Yeah, not too much. I have bred uh, Curtus and uh, Ball Python and uh, some uh, Colubrids. Okay, cool. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, but I don't have now. <laughs> yeah, that's still awesome though. Congratulations yeah, yeah, yeah. on Thank this. Thank you little, so much. Oh, that's so awesome. That's, that's beautiful. And again, I just get a kick out of coming all the way over here to Italy, seeing another collection, getting to know Gabe and all of his passion with these animals. So it's, re it's really been awesome Thank and it's for, really cool. Thank you for being here. Oh no, my pleasure. We're having a great time. Don't for me, worry it's about an it. hour. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be good. Tomorrow's yeah, gonna be tomorrow really good. Tomorrow's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> Doggy, I am excited about this. This is actually a Baron's Racer. I wasn't expecting to see one of these over here. This is a snake that's been on my wish list for a long time. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the rhino rat snakes, but they're very different the way they move. And again, they have a much shorter pointy nose than the rhino rat snake but just take a look at how awesome that snake is. I mean, I tell you what, I love this and I'm so happy that I came across it here at Gabe's place. <laughs> take a look at this little monkey right here. This of course is an Argentine black and white tegu, kind of similar to the Argentine blue tegu that Taz is of course, but this is just a little bit different, but apparently this guy gets a little bit bitey at times. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful because you can see these big jaws right here. And it's like I say about Taz all the time. You definitely don't wanna get nipped by that guy because these guys have some really powerful jaws, but this guy is absolutely cool. Look at him. He is so neat. What's up, buddy? What are you doing, sweetie? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Again, being around animals is awesome because, you know, just spending a little bit of time away kind of makes me all freaked out. It's like, I gotta get some animals. And seeing Gabe's stuff just makes me more excited about this reptile show coming up tomorrow. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Just popped into the reptile show really quick. This is the night before, obviously, that the show is happening. So the tables are just getting set up. People are starting to stroll in and set a few things up. Uh, they're actually gonna expand out where this volleyball court is. This is actually a volleyball place. As soon as they're done playing tonight, they put tables up there. So that's gonna be absolutely cool. This is awesome. Gabe, this is sweet, dude. Yeah, 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 this is sweet. great. It looks really good, man. Holy cow. I can't wait. All these tables are gonna be filled up with animals and oh my gosh, it's gonna be exciting. I cannot wait. This is the upstairs room of the show. You can see, look at this, this is crazy. It's little squirrels. I certainly have never seen squirrels at a reptile show. That's crazy. I can't wait till all these things start having animals in them. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Oh, look at this. Blue tongue sink. Oh, and take a look at this. this is crazy. We can't have these. These are the giant African snails. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to play with them tomorrow. Got some key island skinks. Look really cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really excited about Taro. This is going to be absolutely epic. So, you guys know my dad's gone. So, while he's away, um, I'm the one taking care of this entire shop. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But uh, I gotta go check up with Eric right now because I'm sure he's doing a whole lot of nothing. Oh, wow, you're actually handling a snake. This is the first time I've ever seen you do that. Wow. What can I say? What you know, I'm working say? hard. You're working hard or hardly working. Snapping necks, cashing checks. Oh, That's what I'm doing. dang, man. What are you, a rapper now? What, what would your rap Sorry. name be if you were a Dude, rapper? Honestly, probably Stretch Mark Chambers Stretch or something. Mark? Wow, like stretch the stretch god. The stretch god, because I make it stretch player. <laughs> I make that paper stretch. Yeah. Alright, so what are you doing with these scaleless Texas reds? I see you got I'm just going through them, just kind of spot cleaning, checking on them. And, uh, you know, this one was pretty cool. I was just kind of wow. checking them out. Yo, really pretty, man. Spider Man, man. Dude, it is. Like, a little black and red kind yeah. of pattern on there. No, these guys are That's, so cool. Yeah. These guys are so scaleless cool. Texas rats are definitely one of the. The cooler colubrids that, in my opinion, that we have. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Yeah, it shows you how different they can be, too. Oh, you know what I mean? White, yeah, yeah. No, this one's super cool, and you can wow. see by the eyes, it's not like it's going into shed. I think this is yeah. just kind of the color of it. Exactly. You know, so exactly. pretty sweet. Let's, let's grab another one out because okay. I really want to show you and try to make this one a different than uh, the rest of them because I really want to show you guys. I know you've seen them before. Try to grab. Oh my goodness. This one's good? It's so crazy, man. Just yeah, like. I know. Because they're all the same scaleless Texas rat, but they all come in different varieties, you know what I'm saying, of color. It doesn't matter about Beautiful. the genetics, you know? Beautiful. Wild. You know what, I'm not trying to be mean, but some of the ugliest mom snakes make the prettiest babies. That's I don't know true. what it is. I don't know what it is. That's called life. That's, Dude, that's, it is called life. Yeah. Like, my parents are very attractive, and then I'm the product of that. Exactly. So, thank you, Eric, for that. <laughs> so thank you Eric for that uh, Thanks for the update man uh, I'm going to go get back to work Or uh, get back to uh, just chilling Because who's here to punish me That's right. <laughs> we made it to our hotel for the night Gabe put us up in a pretty swank Very contemporary hotel This place looks crazy I mean look at the seats over here So I can't wait to see what the room's going to look like I've got to imagine it's going to be pretty dope <laughs> And we are in the room This is definitely a crazy room I like it, it's really interesting Obviously we have like a whole bag area over here uh, kind of just a cool sitting area the stairs up here got a second floor up here with the bed overlooking a balcony over here all in all guys this is actually pretty cool and it was definitely a fun day I am super looking forward to tomorrow and I hope you guys want to know what an Italian reptile show is gonna be like it's gonna be absolutely incredible as for now I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching your support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much I hope that you're enjoying this Italy adventure so far let me know down in the comments what you think a couple more days and we will be heading back home to the Reptarium and BHB. But for now, can I ask you to do me a couple favors? Can you smash that like button, turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video? Like I mentioned, leave a comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.